In this video, we are going to discuss about applying modular techniques to solving a problem. Now, real life problems are complex and big. If we have one single monolithic solution for them, then they are going to pose problems. What are those problems? They will be difficult to write, test and implement. Modifications after the final product is delivered would be close to impossible. Maintenance of program will be very difficult because that's one huge program that has to be maintained. So where the problem lies will be not detectable easily. One error can bring the whole system to a halt. That is why solutions should be divided into smaller parts known as modules. Let's see what this technique is. The technique of breaking down one big solution into smaller modules for ease of development, implementation, modification and maintenance is called the modular technique of programming and software development. So this is the modular technique. These are the advantages of modular techniques. It enables faster development as each module can be developed in parallel. You have different teams working on different modules simultaneously. These modules can be reused because module is complete in itself. One team has developed a module that can be used by some other team and expanded upon it. As each module is to be tested independently, they are independent entities, testing is faster and more robust. That means more and more errors are detectable. Modules are smaller and have lower level of complexity because one big problem has been broken down into smaller modules where each module is carrying out maybe one or two functions only. So they are easy to understand. Debugging and maintenance of the whole program is easier. Debugging, finding out errors. So debugging and maintenance is very easy if we have smaller modules to debug and maintain. However, identifying the modules is not so easy and there is no one way also. Everybody can have his or her own way. So let's see if there are some guidelines to help us. If data is the most important element of the system, you should build your modules around the data. If the service provided by the system is diverse and numerous, many services are provided, then you should break down your problem into functional modules based on those services. If all else fails, that means these two fail, then break down the system into logical modules as per your understanding. This is where the necessity of requirement gathering phase is emphasized again. If you have gathered the requirements correctly, you will be able to break down the system into logical modules. For coding, each module has to be again broken down into smaller modules. But this time this has to be done in consultation with the programming rules of the language that we are using. If you are using C, there will be different rules, Java, different rules, PHP, different set of rules. Specific programming rules must be considered while creating smaller modules. Before these modules can be coded, there should be a step-by-step -step solution so that the coder can understand where the data and the processes are going, how they are flowing through the business system. In our next video, we are going to look at step-by-step -step solutions.